Hey guys, um, in this video I'm going to show something really cool with Parallels Desktop. It's a virtual machine software. <clears throat> it lets you run Windows 7 in a virtual machine on your Mac. Um, now I happen to have Windows 7 installed on um, hmm. I happen to have it installed on my computer via boot camp. Um, you can see here it shows uh, remove Windows 7 so I have it installed on my computer and in my finder here's my my OS 10 partition with the actual OS 10 file system and then the boot camp partition which is Windows and has all of my programs and games and stuff installed. Um, so what that means is that I have actual I actually have Windows 7 installed natively on the computer just as if it was a Windows laptop. If I restart the computer, I can uh, select either OS 10 or Windows. But sometimes I want to access Windows from within OS 10 without restarting to get into it. Um, and I can do that with Parallels Desktop. <clears throat> and what Parallels does is it it creates a virtual machine on my Mac that accesses my Windows installation. And then allows me to access all of my Windows applications right here on my Mac without having to reboot. So most of the time the only reason why I reboot would be to play a video game because the video games can be pretty um, CPU intensive and you don't want to be running that in a virtual machine but um, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate here if I click the start Windows will start up and I'll hit the little X button here and we'll go make this bigger So now Windows is running on my Mac. You can see my Mac down here. I have Windows on the bottom. Now one of the cool things though that I really like with this is that all of my Windows applications are stored down here under Windows 7 applications. Uh, this is basically my start menu. If I come over here, um, I have all of my all of my programs that are installed, but I can come over here to my to a Windows 7 start menu in my Mac, and I can say, oh hey, I want to go to Visual Studio and I want to launch Visual Studio. Visual Studio will launch in my Windows. One of the coolest features of Parallels, though, um, would be that I can come over here to the bottom and I can pop, uh, let's see here, one of these buttons, I don't remember which one it is, maybe it's up here. I go to virtual machine, view, I go up here to enter coherence mode. It'll start coherence. And now the Windows desktop is gone. And what I have is just Visual Studio by itself. So it runs a little slow because I'm running the uh, screen recorder at the same time. Usually um, when I'm not recording, this is uh, much, much smoother. So Here is an actual Windows application running on my computer, on my Mac. Um, and I can, you know, I can go ahead and I can do all of my all of my coding and stuff if I want to. Without any problems. And I can even run my application. If I come up here and I hit start. It will run my <coughs> visual. Oh, there's. Uh, this is probably because I was coding last night. Right here. So 
so now I can hit start and it should work just fine. Maybe not. More errors. And here you can see my my application is running it's really small because of the way that um, and, and there are glitches and weird side effects that happen sometimes um, uh, and that usually only happens with Visual Studio I very seldom have this issue with um, um, with other applications I'm not sure why it's just Visual Studio but we can go ahead and we can close that and we can come up here to the top and there's an actual Windows start menu that I can use and I can launch Windows applications and here's like the Windows calculator um, so it is really it's really nice uh, it's, it's an easy way to one of the other cool things though is that if I come up here and I tell it to um, exit coherence right back into my Windows desktop uh, but what I am going to do is I'm going to enter coherence mode and uh, come up here and I'm going to open my start menu and I'm going to shut down Windows Windows is being shut down. <clears throat> All right, so Windows is fully shut down. I can come up here to Parallels and I'm going to quit Parallels. And it's uh, completely quit. However, over here in the bottom, I always have the Windows 7 Applications menu. So I can open this, and I can find Visual Studio or any other program, and I can launch it, and Parallels will start up automatically. You can hit the Show button to actually see Windows starting, but I just leave it leave it at this uh, there's no reason I don't want to see Windows starting I just want to have my program open and running so it sits there while Windows does its startup thing Windows will log in since I don't have a login password on my Windows account um, specifically for this reason because otherwise it would prompt me for a uh, my user password um, and I don't really want that so here you go you can see I just launched Visual Studio from Windows 7 with from down here I never had to go in and turn on any virtual machines or log in or anything like that and then go to start programs etc I was able to just easily do it from the Windows 7 applications menu here and uh, parallels takes care of the rest for me and uh, automatically started Windows and launched the application for me so it's a it's it's a it's an excellent tool for anybody that has to use uh, Windows applications um, or needs access to them at the same time that they are on their Mac without having to reboot. Again, games you don't really can't really play games this way. You have to you'll need to reboot into actual Windows to play the games because it's just it's not enough uh, power yet. My laptop has 16 gigabytes of RAM and uh, an NVIDIA. GT 650M with uh, one gigabyte of RAM and it's just just not enough. Uh, even with an i7, I think it's an i7 3.6 or something like that. Um, it's uh, it's still very very CPU intensive. So um, that does it for this video. Uh, if if it was helpful for you guys and you liked it, hit the uh, like button. It helps me out. You can follow me on Twitter at Scion West. And if you guys have any uh, tips that you would like to share with me and have me record or, or uh, app suggestions or reviews 
hit me up on Twitter and let me know. Thanks, guys.